Hello everyone, I'm Jacinta from Posture Tonic. This might be the world's most gentle Pilates posture focus flow ever, if I do say so myself. We're gonna work through equal parts of stretchy goodness and strength goals, so that by the end of it, you're gonna feel like you've just woken up on a bed of clouds. We're gonna really connect into our breath today, so join me when you're ready in a child's pose, setting your hips low and back over your heels, reaching the arms forward, connecting into your breath. It's an inhale through the nose. It's an exhale out through pursed lips, letting go of all of that tension. This is your time to connect onto the mat. Next inhale, reach that left arm through, so threading it under, spiraling that rib cage, left shoulder sinks down to the floor, holding there for a full breath in. Full breath out. One more inhale. Next exhale, hand comes back through to center, hips down and low, really stretch it long through the fingertips. Next inhale, taking that right arm, threading it through, right shoulder comes down, feel that spiral through that rib cage. Taking that deep breath in, filling up the ribs, nice and wide, and exhale out through pursed lips. Inhale. And exhale, reach both arms forward one last time. Exhale, lift your chest up, round through your spine, roll through to your four point kneel. Maybe walking those knees straight underneath your hips and hands stacked underneath your shoulders, moving into a circle cat cow. So shifting your weight in a circle, allow for your chest to drop down, send your hips back round through your spine, really lifting up through those abs. So circling in one direction, chest comes down, shift your weight forward, shift your weight back. Really have fun for this. And spiraling, circling. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, pull back, two more. Last one. And reverse. So other direction, hips still go back, we still round. Chest drops forward, pull it around. How good does this feel? Getting a stretch through the side waist, waking up your spine, getting the blood flowing through every part of your body. We're gonna stretch from the head to toe today. Last one. Back through to center, toes stay flat on the floor, send your hips back, hands reach behind you, lift your knees to hover off your floor, finding a stretch through the back of your foot, or the top of your foot rather. Hold for three, two, and one, hands come forward, tuck your toes under, hips rock back, lift your heels up high, feeling, feeling a stretch through the arches of your feet now. Hold for three, you can kind of push your butt into your heels gently. Two and one. And again, knees come down, fold it back, rock, lift those knees, hold for three. Feel that stretch. Two and one. Coming forward, tucking your toes under. Last one here, lift up, lift up. How good does that feel through the arches of your feet? Stay for two. And one, rocking forward, back to your four point kneel. Couple of cat cows here, tilting through the pelvis. Just a few. And then pause and find your neutral position. So that's in between those two movements. Draw up through the abs. From here, lengthen right arm, lengthen left leg, sweep it across the floor, lift it up to shoulder and hip height hold, circling the right wrist three times. Place right hand back down underneath you. Sweep that knee in. Other side, lengthening that left arm, right leg, hold. Zip up through that core. You have three circles through the wrists. Starting to wake up through the core. Bring it in. Shoulder alignment. Shoulders are flat along your rib cage. Give me three circles through the wrist. And hips are square. Bring it in. And again, reach forward. Zip up, strong hold, circling. 
bring it back into center, one more each side, reach and lengthen. As if I'm pulling on your fingers and someone else is pulling on your legs. So you lengthen, create space through your spine. Back to center, other side, left leg, left arm rather, right leg. And back to center, round your spine, pull your weight back, pull it back, pull it back to hover off your heels. And then round your spine, come forward, walk your hands forward into a half plank. Long line, straight line from your head to your tailbone. Lock the ribs to hips. Then send your weight back again. Round your spine, pull up through the navel, hover your hips up off your heels, stretch through that upper back. And coming forward, rounding, rounding, rounding. And then unlock to that straight spine, pressing the mat away. We've got two more here. Coming through into our hovered child's pose, rounded spine. Shifting that weight forward, hitting that half plank. All right, bringing a bit of warmth into that core, feel, feeling that core awareness. And one last one here. Find that little stretch and then find the power in your core as you lengthen out and hold. Hold this time for 10 seconds. Ribs to hips, tuck your tailbone under, squeeze your glutes. We have a down dog in five, four, three, two, toes tuck under, downward facing dog, hips come up high. Beautiful work, pedaling out through the feet, shifting your hips. Okay, from here, rounding your spine once again. Ooh, and lower those knees, hover them, hover them, and then lower, unwind, unlock your back cat. And again, going into your down dog, coming through, arching your spine. So moving between those two movements here for about 30 seconds. Exhale, hips go up high. Inhale, control through the core, control, control, and then allow for your knees to come down. Exhale, inhale, exhale, lift your hips. Your spine is gonna feel brand new after this. It's already feeling amazing. Give me 10 more seconds. Okay, last three, two, and hold on one. Drop down onto your left elbow. We have a fire hydrant with that right leg. So I want you to have your right hand pressing into the mat. Your hips are slightly tilted to the side, that's good. From here, lifting that right knee up, continue to circle, rainbow it over. You're gonna cross it behind your back leg, send your hips back a little, and then come back up around, back to the side, give me a kick, so extend that leg out. Fold at the knee, bring it back in, that's it. We open it out, circling, big rainbow, and then as you cross, you can come back down into a little bit of a stretch. Bring it up and around, Hold the knee up high, extend the leg. Let's keep going here. Bring it around, shift back. Exhale, squeeze everything through that booty and extend. So hitting all angles of that booty here. This is our toning. Toning and hip mobility, which is what I love. I want you to keep your knee turning slightly out. So I like to imagine there's a pencil on my knee and I'm drawing a beautiful rainbow with that knee. So I can unlock that right hip, extend. Keep it slow, nice slow sculpt here. Come back to that breath. I want you to enjoy every movement today in class. So if something doesn't feel good for you, you can take it out. So maybe that kick isn't working for you today, that's okay, you could bring it straight back in. We've got four more of these. Big full range. Three more. Assisting with our abs, so they are helping you 
draw up. Keep the pelvis nice and steady. All right. Give me one more. That stabilizing booty is working strong, so you're probably feeling a bit of warmth there, which is great. Bring it out and around, extend that leg long, sweep it back halfway so it's on a 45 degree angle. Point your toe down towards the floor. We lower and lift. Tap the floor and lift. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Pressing through that forearm here. Think about that awareness through your shoulders. Squeezing through that side, tush to lift. Good, we're nearly out of this butt. Stay strong. And lift. Give it that energy on the way up. Control on the way down. Energy on the way up. And lower, lower. All right, give me five. Tap. Four. Three. Two. Hold it up on the next one. Little circles. Size of a dinner plate. Ooh, feel that spicy burn. You got this. Other way for five. Four. Three. Two. And bring that leg back. We're just turning to find a side plank. Staying kneeling on that left knee. Reaching right arm up to the sky. From here, one thread the needle. Wrapping right arm, thread it through. Twist, lift back up to the sky, one leg lift up and down. Continuing, one thread the needle and reach, one leg lift and lower. Take it through. We're gonna follow that hand so that you're really working through some mobility here. So you can reach through, twist, twist, lengthen and lift. This is working, our side oblique and lateral leg through the side, sculpting and toning and mobility. All of the good things. You've got four more. All right, give me two, twist. Okay, last one, lifting the leg up, holding here, little lift up and down. Make sure that foot is in line with your butt, if not a little bit backwards, so we can find that glute work. We're in that slight hip extension, just for four, three, two, and one. Lower the hips down, rolling onto your belly. Well done, guys. From here, 90 degree angle with those arms. Rest your forehead onto the floor. Okay, from here, I want you to lift your breastbone up off the floor. Lift your abs strong as well. So breastbone, and I want you to round through your spine as much as you can. So imagining there's a ball that you're just trying to lean over, using those hands to press in. Then from here, drop your hips down, drop your middle back, slightly arching your spine, we're melting back down. So again, I want you to round through, nod your chin to chest, hover your breastbone, really lift your abs up away from the floor. So you're in a little sphinx pose, round and round. And then you can lift up and spiral, not spiral, melt back down. So find your flow, it's those abs zipping in. It's that pull up through your chest bone. And then it's reversing. Lowering through the lower back, middle spine, chest and forehead. Keep going. It's a really small movement, but really isolating through that upper back. Working on that posture, opening the chest. You're gonna give me two more here. Keep drawing those abs in, hovering that breastbone, and then sink it all down. You have one last one. 
Well done. From here, press up into our downward facing dog. Pedaling out the feet for three, two, and one. Come back down into your four point kneel. Drop down onto your right elbow. We have our fire hydrant on the other side. So left knee goes out to the side. Big rainbow over, send it to cross behind you. It lifts up and then out to the side we kick. Rainbow it over. Hips go back, weight goes forward. Rainbow, rainbow and kick. Okay, so slow it down. Working on making the biggest rainbow with that knee. So that we can get nice and juicy through that peach. You want to hit every angle from the side butt, middle and outer thigh. Remembering that those abs are helping you picking that leg up. So you want them engaged. about five more to go. Up and around. You need four more. Yes, give me three more. As big as you can. Can we turn that knee out a little bit more? You have final two here. Up and around. Hit that extended leg. Last one. Up and around. This time we hold that leg out to the side. Bring it back at 45 degree angle. Toe points down to the floor. Dip your toe down and lift back up. We're down and up. You can glance at that foot as well. So you have a bit of a side bend. Down, tap it up. Exhale, lift, inhale, tap. It's like we're testing the water with our big toe. It's too cold, we're gonna take it straight back out. Dip it in, too cold, lift it back up. Woo, last five. Four, we're going into that side plank. In three, two, and one. Side plank, pivoting, facing the side. I am just going to pivot around so that I can see you. We're gonna take, well you can see me rather. We're gonna take that thread the needle, wrapping that left arm through. Lifting back up and that leg lift up and down. Threading it through, lifting it up. Hit that side butt, lift up and down. Again, you want your foot in line with your hip. Really opening out through the hip flexors. Okay, seeing if you can follow that hand so we can thread it through, really twisting through that upper body. Staying proud and open through those collarbones every time you hit that side plank. We lift up, try and touch the sky. So we're really active underneath that shoulder blade. Woo, we have four more. And two, holding this next one up in one. It's those leg lifts up, down, up, down. Woo, last five, let's go. Four, three, two, and lower the hips down on one. Well done, you're gonna move into a plank. So send those hips into a plank, neutral spine. So from here, you're going to bend your knees, Lift your hips up to the sky, downward facing dog. Moving into our spinal articulation plank. So we're gonna round through your spine, round and round, hit through to your plank, bend your knees. Lead with those hips, they go up first. Rounding through, rippling, rippling, hit the plank. And you can kind of flow, so let your tummy drag down, bend your knees, lift your hips up. Pull up through those abs, strong. 
Bend your knees, lift your hips, round your spine. Bend your knees, tummy is arched. Lift up, just have fun with it guys. This should feel really beautiful on your spine. Work within your own body and your own range. Heels might look way bigger than this. They might look, might look smaller. But it's just about feeling good. I also like to send those hips from side to side. So again, a bit of a free play here. Whatever works for you. Woo. Keep going. Last 15 seconds. It's like a wave at the beach. You can make it as big or as small as you want today. Imagine that, having control over the waves. Last three, two, hold into your plank on your next one, you're in your neutral spine, hold strong for 15 seconds, reach your heels away, lengthen out through the crown of your head, you're in the longest line, holding for another 10 seconds, squeezing every muscle, Okay, eight seconds, but then stepping that right foot wide to the outside right hand in five, four, three, two. Step that right foot wide. Hold here, lizard stretch. Send your hips slightly down. Reach your right arm up to the sky. Drop your back knee, reaching for the toes. A bit of a quad stretch for a three, for two, and one. Reach it back, step back plank, hold strong. Take left foot wide, lizard lunge, hold there. Reaching left arm up to the sky, dropping that back knee down, trying to reach your back toes. Oh, that quad stretch is strong. Release, back to plank, keep going here. You're gonna be here for a little bit so that you can really open out through those hips. So you can really lengthen out through the quad. So glide your hips forward right here. You can work at your own pace as well. If you need to hold for a little bit longer, go for it. Step back. Other side when you're ready. Reaching up, dropping that back knee, grabbing for those toes. You always know that the most unpleasant stretches are the ones that your body needs the most. So for me right here, oh, this is not a fun time, but I need it. So join me, we're in it together. So in that lizard stretch, your knee is pressing outwards. So you're on a bit of a slight angle. Reaching your heel away every time you're in that lizard stretch. Lengthening through. You still have 20 seconds to play here. Really deepening your stretches now. Using your exhales to give in to the stretch. Well done guys. We'll go, we'll go for one more on each side. Okay, seeing if we can really push that knee out now. Seeing if we can really pull that heel in towards your butt. Shining that chest open, breathing into that uncomfortable pain. Ooh, and release. Last one on the other side. Step it through. Hold strong. Pull it in, hold. And release, you're back into a plank in two. Step back, find a plank wherever you are. We're holding here. Okay, from here, step that right foot in, then that left foot. You're in a low squat, hands to prayer. Stay low through those hips for three, two. Push through your heels, come all the way up to standing. Taking those feet, stack them underneath your hips. Stay in prayer. Step your right foot back. Ready for our tippy birds. Lengthening that right leg. From here, we have our hips square onto the end of your mat. You're gonna bow yourself down, folding over that left knee. 
and lifting back up. So we're gonna keep everything still from your hips upwards. We're just hinging forward and lifting back up. We're taking our weight over that front heel, firing up from our left glute and hamstring to lift ourselves back up. Straight spine, opening through the chest. And then with those hands, can you press in a little bit, creating some resistance through your back postural muscles. So squeezing a little bit to feel that pinch in your mid back. Show you from the side, dipping down and up. You have full control over how hard this is going to be for you. So you wanna really push your heel down into the floor like we're trying to stamp a really big footprint into the mat. Oh yes, feeling that engagement. Beautiful work. Keep pushing into those hands. Elbows are wide. 15 seconds. You're gonna feel that quad working here as well. The best part about this workout is there's equal parts stretchy. So as soon as it gets too intense, we take it into a beautiful release. We're nearly done on this one. We do have a hold though in three. Folding forward, holding in two. Hold it forward on one. Can you now twist your upper body towards that left side? And slowly, slowly come back to center. And again, we have five, we can do it. Stay low through that left leg. Ooh, and come back through to center. You have three more. Take that twist. Two more, it's getting a little uncomfortable. We have a stretch coming up in one more rep. Let's go, deepen that bend a little bit more. Can we twist around a little bit more? Come back through to center, release, open up, warrior one. Bend into that front knee, release it there. Well done, taking that left hand on the inside, reaching right arm, gazing up at the sky. Beautiful, lift up into warrior one. Pivot and turn the front of your mat. Come down into your 1990 lunge and stand. So it's a static 1990 lunge. Adding in some arm circles. Take them back, palms face up and lift up. Circling the arms, lifting up. Using those hands to scoop up some energy from the ground, lifting up. Getting low through that back knee. This is where we're gonna feel that fire, creating some strength into that left leg. You've got this, breathe through. Pick up that energy that you need, lift it up, lowering down. Just check your front knee though, is pressing slightly outwards. So wrapping through that front thigh, keeping those hips as level as you can, and lift. Find the depth that works for you. Maybe it's just a little dip down and up. Good work. 10 seconds. Ooh, and working through that shoulder mobility. Getting some delicious stretches. Last two. Last one. You're in a sumo squat and slide your hips down. Big circles up. Keep those arms just circling. Send those hips down. So straight spine. It's our plio squat. Knees are wide. Other way around with those arms. Both feet are equal, as in they're pushing equally into the ground. And knees turning outwards. Getting some energy into the body. Use those arms. Okay, other way, one more time. Up and around. Yes, let's start to build that pace. Heart rate is building a little bit. We're gonna slow it down in three, two, and one. Hold here, palms facing up. And just hold and breathe for five, four, three, two. Lift up those arms. Pivot at that back toe so we're facing the front of your mat. 
1990 lunge, coming down and lift back up, lowering down, lift back up. Okay, this time the arms are gonna circle in the opposite direction, so coming forward, like we're taking a big breath stroke. Make sure that right knee, this time, is pulling outwards, almost to that third toe. Oh yes, feeling those quads as well. Okay, we're pushing down into that right heel. We're just reversing the sequence on this side. So we'll finish with our tippy birds. Keep going on this 90, 90, 15 seconds. Find that power on the way up. Eight seconds. Beautiful, last three, last two, and one, warrior one. Let's hold that strong pose, reaching the arms away. One foot is parallel, one's pointing to the end of your mat. Taking that dip down, right hand on the inside of that ankle, lifting up, find your balance. Come back to your warrior one. Beautiful work. From here, pivot and face the front. Bring it in a little bit, tippy bird straight away. Hands are in prayer, taking that weight over and lift. We're coming down and lift. Really slowing down the movement. Remember creating that work for you in your back, pushing through those hands. I'm gonna fire up that right glute. All right, really folding at the hips like a Lego man, lifting that torso up and lowering that torso down. Okay, you have 15 seconds left for me. We're nearly done with this leg work. I'm gonna be laying down on our backs in no time. So just that twist coming up in eight seconds. We'll hold our chest slightly down in three. In two, chest is down on one, twisting away towards that right thigh. Bring it back in, okay, five of those. That's one. Twist away, keep pushing down into that heel, that's two. Going for three. Focus on your breath and balance. Give me one last one. Come back through to center, open out. Ooh, and then send those hips down nice and low. You're in a beautiful low squat. Release it here. Okay, drop your hips back. Bring your hands, palms facing down. You're in a zigzag setup, twisting tall. So spine is straight, we twist towards one knee. Then from here, open out both knees. Come back through to center and then twist to the other side. Okay, working on our hip mobility, we open up through the hips and then that internal rotation through that inside leg. Lifting out, external rotation, internal rotation inside hip. So here's where we want to imagine our towel, oh, sorry, our spine is like a wet towel and we're trying to wring out every last drop. So we get that little twist, standing up out of that pelvis and twist. If you need your hands, you can place them on the ground. And you can send your hands behind you, find what works for you. This is just your added challenge. And twist, 10 more seconds. See if you can open up a little bit more through the center, both knees as wide as you can, drop it in. As wide as you can, and drop it in. Last four, three, two, and come back through to center on one. Hands come down in front of your feet, lift your hips up, 
and roll your spine all the way up so you are standing nice and tall. Bend your knees, big inhale. Exhale, open those arms, forward fold. And you're just gonna come down onto the ground and onto your back for a bit of ab work. So grab a drink if you need it as well. We're gonna work through our abdominals in a lying down position. So some really slow sculpt work. Okay, resetting. We've got right leg into tabletop. Left leg is long on the floor. Hands are just uh, behind your head interlaced. So right leg is into tabletop. From here, sliding that bottom rib down towards your hips as you nod your chin slightly down. Curling up and releasing that upper body and head back down onto the ground. Exhale, curl up. Using those abs and lower. You can imagine there's a spring attached from the bottom rib to your hip and we're coiling that spring shut. And then it uncoils as we unwind that upper back body Lifting up and lower. Right leg stays in a tabletop, so shin parallel to the sky. And release. And release. So, okay, eight more. Nice, keeping those elbows wide for me. So your head needs to stay heavy into the hands. This will work your abdominals extra. I don't want you to miss out on the fun. Okay, we have three more. Two more. Holding this next one up. Little pulses up and down. Five, four. Really plant that left leg heavy into the ground. Two. And one, well done. Extend that le right leg up to the sky. Bend your left knee. Reach your arms out wide. Hip circles. So we're gonna take that leg down to hover off the ground, circle out and around, and then back up. We take it down and around. So create a D shape, we come down, semi-circle it around. Try and keep those hips as still as you can. That is where the focus is on this one. To make it harder, you can keep your left leg heavy onto the floor. Using those abdominals to control the movement, we come down and around. Using the hands to slightly press into the floor as well. It's harder than it looks. We've warmed up through our hips, got that hip mobility. So once you have that control, through the abdominals, allow for that leg to swing open a little bit more if you can. Woo, give me two more. Last one, leg comes back up to the sky, single glute bridge, folding at that left knee. From here, we're gonna roll up into your bridge, sweeping right leg down and up, down and up. Pushing down into that left heel. You can use those hands down onto the floor. Last five, four, three, two, and roll all the way back down. Hugging that right knee into your chest, extend that left leg long. Hold here for a second. Release that hip flexor work. There was a lot happening through the front of the hip. That is normal. We want to strengthen there as well. Bringing both knees in, extend that right leg long on your floor. Arms come behind your head, ready for the curl on the other side. Left leg tabletop, curl up, exhale. Inhale, lower the head and shoulders back down. Continuing here. Remember that coil, attach the bottom rib to your hip. We coil it in and then it unwinds. Coiling it in and then it unwinds. Knees hovered over that left knee, heel, ah, <laughs> hip. Got all the body parts mixed up then. I'm focusing way too hard here, which is good. <laughs> and we've got eight more. Full concentration needed. <laughs> Three, hold it up in two, and hold it up on one. It's those little pulses. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one, lower the head and shoulders down, extend that left leg, pull that right knee in, circles, arms go out. Circling the leg around, we take it straight down 
out to the side and back up. So it's a D in reverse and around. Controlling through those hips if you prefer to have your hands on your hip bones to give, you, give yourself some feedback, you're here. So hip bones point out to the sky, even though that leg is swinging out to the side. It's that deep core working, that corset muscle, that transverse abdominis to help control that pelvis in neutral. Good work. If it's feeling too strong through your hip flexor at the front here, try externally rotating your foot out slightly. And you have two more. And one single glute bridge, peeling up. And that wave, it's down, it's up. Let's push those hips up, squeeze through that right glute. It's down and up, down and up. For five, four, three, two, one. Rolling back down through your spine, both feet down couple of roll ups and downs in our glute bridge. Arms reach up and over behind you, peel back down, arms down by your side, roll it up, reach your arms behind you, peel yourself down. That was a quick transition, stay with me. We're just peeling up, reaching the arms, wave them behind, lengthening your spine on the way down, arms come down, peel it up. I love this one because it feels like you're getting a stretch through the entire spine, creating that space again through each vertebrae. Three more. Melting down. Last two. Feeling that power through the back of the legs. And last one. Roll down as slow as you can on this one. I want you to feel each bone come down one at a time. Keep your glutes engaged so they're squeezed the whole time. Keep going nice and slow. So you want to roll down bone by bone, like your spine is a pearl necklace and you're putting down a pearl at a time on the string of pearls. And that tailbone will be the last thing to come down. Well done. Tuck those knees in, hug, hug, hug. And start to create a little bit of momentum for our rolling like a ball. Use those abs, draw in through the abdominals. Build up that momentum, we're gonna come into a plank, however you can get there. Maybe those feet can come down and we step back into a plank in one. Otherwise, you choose your own adventure. We're gonna take our feet down on the floor in three, step back into plank in two. On the next one, bring the feet down, hands come down, step out into your plank. Come and join me in your plank. Zip up through the core. With control, we guide the hips down. So keep your abs on. Hips come down into our cobra stretch. Untuck the toes. Enjoy that stretch through the abdominals. Toes tuck under, draw up through those lower abs. Lift up into a full plank. We'll move in and out of those two stretches. Well, one's an exercise and then one's a stretch. Told you that was equal parts stretchy, equal parts strength goals. So let's finish off strong. We're nearly at the end of the class. We want to keep those abs engaged as we guide the hips down and squeeze your glutes when you make it to your cobra. Fifteen seconds, everyone. Take it slow, bringing that breath back. Last five seconds, holding your plank in three, two. Hold your plank in one, rock it forward and back just for ten. So toes lift up, pull back for eight. You can do it. We're out of this. Coming into some stretches to finish in five, four. Plug that belly button in. Three, rock forward and back. Two, rock forward and back. And one, knees come down. Well done. Come cross-legged into the middle of your mat, ready for some neck stretches. You're gonna sit on your right hand. Bring your left hand to the right ear and just bring your, your ear to your shoulder. 
releasing through the side of your neck. Holding for 10 more seconds. Slowly come back up through center, swap to the other side, left hand underneath your butt. And then stretch that left side of your neck. Ear comes down to the shoulder. 10 seconds. Slowly release that one. Nod your chin down towards your chest, round your spine, pull those abs back. So we're just rounded. Then shine that chest open. Gaze slightly comes up. We extend into the upper back. And again, rounding through the spine, drawing the ribs back. Shining that heart open, taking in all of that light to give you energy. And round your spine, take that energy with you, hold it in your body. You're gonna take that energy into the rest of your day. And one more, shine the chest, take in all of that light and energy. Grow a little taller out of the pelvis, sitting tall and proud. Take it all in, big inhale. Rib cage expands as wide as you can. And exhale, round through the spine. Tuck your chin to chest, take in all of that energy, hold it in. Blowing out through those pursed lips. Come back through to seated. Spine is tall, right hand down onto the floor, reaching that left arm up. Pulling down onto that left hip so you're grounded. Reach it over. Turn and twist towards the floor, reaching as, as far away as you can. Opening that chest, we come back through to that first position. And then that second set up, reach and twist. Last one, opening up through the chest. And pivot down. Face the floor, reach through the fingertips. Other side, windmill legs, arms up and over. It's that side lean. We're grounded through that right hip. So we're lengthening through that side waist. We pivot and rotate through that upper body, reaching through the hand, shining the chest open. And again, that's two. And one more in each direction. Open, open. And exhale, reach. Beautiful. We're going to come back through onto your back. You can have your knees bent, walking your hands away from you, finding a stretch through the shoulders, relaxing into this position. If it feels good for you, you can let your knees rock off from side to side, just gently in a small range. Letting them drift off. For five, four, three, two, back to center in one. Well done, coming seated up, sitting tall. Wrap your hands through to the back of your thighs, rounding through your spine, roll back halfway, and then roll back up, sit tall, extend your spine. Just 10 of those, round pull back and lift up. That's nine. And eight. Seven. And six. Last bit of stretch for your back today. Five, give me five more. Four. Three. Two, and one, sit tall, reach those legs, lengthen up through those arms, forward fold to finish. And just releasing everything, all of that tension, you can flush out the legs, have a little bit of a shake off. And then when you're ready, restack your spine, lifting up out of those hips, 
sitting up as tall as you can, press your knees into your mat. And exhale. Well done, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed that Pilates flow and that your body is feeling magical. Please make sure that you are subscribed. This really helps support my channel so I can keep giving these workouts to you. And don't forget to hit the like button and comment below so I can check in on you and see how you went. And I'll see you back here for another workout really soon. Take care, have some water and stay on your mat if you just wanna zen out and stretch a little bit more. I'll see you soon.